What is up everybody? I'm going to be showing you today how to get started by importing products that are from different websites into your Shopify store. So it's going to be a really, really easy process. First of all, what you want to do is to have uh, all the actual websites where you want to add your products. And the second of all is to have your Shopify store. If you don't have a Shopify store, guys, I'm going to leave you a link down below in the description so we can all get started totally for free. Now that you have your actual store, uh, what I wanted to do is to focus and check out what is the actual product that I wanted to import. So first of all, actually, it's going to be really, really easy to focus into any specific product that you want to actually, let's say, uh, add into your website. For example, let's say that I do have this product, uh, I don't know, maybe from eBay. Then I have this other product that comes from the online posing store on the ebay.com.ao. So usually what we do is to see if this product is actually original from this actual shopping store stuff from this online store or is imported from somewhere else. So that means, for example, that what I do is to copy this product or I save this images and I'm going to save this into my downloads. So I'm going to open any tab and let's go for Google search. Inside a Google search, what you want to do is to choose the section search searched by image. So I go for upload a file and I go for this product. So as you should see, this product, it's not only into the shop I purge. It's been selling into Temu. It's been selling into Amazon. It's been selling into Shane. It's been selling into AliExpress and so much more and so on and on. So that means that I wanted to do is to focus into a source that comes with all the actual elements. So let's say, for example, that I wanted to sell this product and this one comes into AliExpress. So if I wanted to look out for another product and this product, I found this product into AliExpress as well. That means that all the products that I wanted to buy from different stores are coming from the source of AliExpress. So what you want to do is not to import the products directly from the website you found it, but to find this into an actual place that you can do exactly the same thing, but now importing this directly into your store. So now that I found my products, uh, what I wanted to do is to only focus into one source. In my case, that would be AliExpress. Now, how can I import my products directly inside my store? So here, what I wanted to do is to go into my Shopify. Inside Shopify, I'm going to go for apps. And here, I'm going to type AliExpress. Usually, what this application is going to be showing us is an actual, let's say, dropshipping. What we can do is to import products from AliExpress directly in here. Now that I found the actual product that I wanted to add into my store, let's go here inside list. Inside list, what I wanted to do is to choose my store. And there you have it. So as you can see here, the optimization of my product has now been imported. Now, if I go back into my store, I'm going to hit now into my products. And as you should see here, I now have my blended added into my store. Let's go here into online store, view it. And there you have it. My website now has the actual same product that was imported that I do want to import it from another website and do exactly the same thing with all the products. I can assure you guys that almost every product is into one source. Really, really easy, guys. So there you have it. So guys, if you find this actual video really helpful, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe for more Shopify insights, hit the notification bell. Thank you for joining us today. Happily diversifying your store with the right range of products. Thank you so much for watching the video, guys. Hopefully, we can all see you next time.